it down, never be slowing it down, ayy. I keep my foot on the gas, I keep my foot on the gas. Chase now, people saying that I change now. Know that I'm never gonna stand still. I'm treating the game like a race now. They really been carefully watching me. They treated me like I was calories, but really they can't get enough of me. They treated me like I'm a salary. They bringing me up in discussion. They wondering how do I do it so casually? I celebrate all of my victories. All of a sudden, they all gonna be mad at me. Damn, I don't have time for concern. I just go live and I learn. Trust me, I waited my turn. Living my dream of return. This is a given concern. Okay, so we've got Nick here, uh, owner of the Mustang. Um, so yeah, why did you uh, get a Mustang? Well... Putting you on spot. <laughs> yes, well, why the Mustang? Um, my previous car was an RS3, mm. and I ended up going to a charity event, Yeah. and so what happens, there was the Mustang Owners Club of UK, Yeah. and I, I saw a few of these in the flesh, and I said, I want one. It's, it's a car that I like. It's a coupe, you know, long and wide. Yeah. It's a car you don't see many of as well, isn't it, in the UK, really? It's, uh, I mean, you see the odd few. Yeah. But the, as soon as you see it, you know as soon as you see a Mustang, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, even in this colour, um, competition orange, as far as I'm aware, there's only about 125 in the country. Yeah. Because there was a limited run of this car in this colour. Yeah. But yeah, that's why. Well, I, I had a choice between either this or an R8, because that's my dream car. Yeah. And so why didn't you go for the R8? <laughs> pressure again, yeah, pressure. I, I don't know, it's, I mean. I, I think personally, I think you see a lot more R8s around than you do the Mustang. Mustangs, yeah. So for me, that would be a factor in getting the Mustang for me, instead of the over the R8. Oh, I didn't get the Mustang because of the tension. It's, um, I think both cars would receive the same amount. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. And yeah. it's definitely not the running cars, because I think it's more expensive to run yeah, the yeah more than likely. Yeah. Um, but I, honestly, I don't know why I didn't do it. And then even now, I think maybe I should have. Yeah. But definitely one for no, the next I, car. I, th I, think you, I think you picked the right choice, personally. I do think I you think so right now, choice. yeah, after all the I'd enjoy the smile on your face when yeah. you put your foot down. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> Right, so obviously you own young, young car detailing. Yes. Um, what got you into detailing, and obviously how did you end up getting your own place? So my original passion for detailing started when I was in the army. Mm -hmm. um, I've never owned any nice cars. Yeah. And after having been deployed to Afghanistan, um, I came back with some cash. Yeah. Which I decided to invest all into an Audi S5. Yeah. And. I still continued to wash the car for the first month with a bucket and a sponge. <laughs> yeah, that's now, very look, now looking back, I bet, I bet yeah. you cringe, don't you? It's cringe. <laughs> but yeah. I just literally YouTubed how to detail, the, well, how to wash a car, because I didn't realise what detailing was, and yeah. then the words of detailing started to come up, so again, I said how to detail your car. Yeah. And um, literally thousands of videos came up. Yeah. And I just got hooked, so I thought, oh, this is interesting. And I bought my first set of products for like a hundred pound. Yeah. And seeing the result really hooked me because it's a very gratifying experience to yeah. have, um, especially what I had a, a black Audi, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, black is once the paint gets dirty, it looks dirty, but when it's clean, it's, it's clean, actually it's clean, pristine, yeah. isn't it? I think the one that one of the best looking cars is probably black cars when they're yeah, actually properly done. Yeah, but so it's, I mean, it's I getting them done properly, isn't it? As well. Yeah. I mean, they get dirty quite quick as well yeah but yeah I mean I got hooked on that and I started experimenting with more and more products yeah. and I just had an idea 
I'm starting a detailing business. I didn't know how I was going to do it, where, yeah. you know, the money, where was it going because it's a lot of money. With of course it is, yeah, yeah. And um, so I met my girlfriend again in the army. Mm. Hello, Kelly. Um, <laughs> and I discussed the same thing, what I've just told you there. Yeah. And she said, well, just go for it. So yeah. I knew I was leaving the army, so I started to pursue the dream. Yeah. A lot more. I've always said if you, if you've got a dream and something you've got a passion about, you're better off just going for it. It's yeah, be, definitely. It's better to fail doing it if you've gonna fail than not have tried at all. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I, I'm one of these people now, especially you know, it's I, I've got no regret. Yeah. We literally stri we stripped the unit. Yeah. Um, repainted new floor and I mean you've seen it the looks, unit. Yeah, it looks pristine. It looks. Uh, very nice, very elegant as well. Yeah, so a month's worth of work went into that. Yeah. A lot of my stuff, which is in my units, imported, so I had to wait for shipping from America or Italy, you know. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's how it started, man. So, yeah. Well, good. So, uh, thank you to this guy. He's actually giving you guys a 20% off. So, if you do want cars detailing or quotes or anything like that, make sure you follow on Instagram now, which is on the screen, uh, and quote, obviously, Rusty20, which is also on the screen. This man will give you 20% off. So, Show him some love, follow yeah, him on Instagram, thank you. all that sort of stuff. And also, it's not just off my services. Um, I stock an extensive line of, of car detail and products and accessories. So there we go, look, looking after you, always. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you can't drive a Mustang without actually filling it up. <laughs> so now we're going to get the privilege of seeing how much he actually pays. Right, so with this car, uh, obviously, it's not got a standard exhaust. No. No, uh, it's basically straight pipe, isn't it? Pretty much, yes. So, uh, what have you actually done to it? Have you done anything to it yourself, or is it all something you've bought? So, it's it's been imported by a company called Roush, which are um, a specialist exhaust manufacturer specifically for the Mustang yep. car. Um, there's two options in the Mustang. There's a cat back or axle back. Obviously, yeah. the cat back is the louder version, yeah. but it's more expensive. Yeah. Um, I was actually lucky enough um, that when the car was, when I bought the car, the previous owner had put an axle back exhaust on here, which was it's it's the quieter version. Yeah. Um, so it's a matter why of would you, why would you do that when you want a Mustang? Exactly. Why would you put a quieter yeah. exhaust? It's cheaper. It you, you was about oh, a thousand sort of, pounds. Yeah, um, yeah. For that exhaust system. Yeah. But that means the center silencer was still in the car. Yeah. So what was then done is um, you can put various modifications instead of the the silencer. Yeah. Usually H or X pipe. Yeah. Um, but I decided to go different and put a straight pipe in. Um, that gives us more of a higher tone. Yeah, and, and, it, more and it does sound, sound loud as you've already heard already. <laughs> yeah, so basically I've kind of made my own cad back system. Yeah. But instead of any bends in the pipe work, it's a it's straight, just straight through. Yeah, yeah. And it's a it's a valve system controlled through um, a control unit yeah. here or, or through my app in the phone. So you can make it quieter yourself. Yeah, you know, so if I you can need close to. the apps. Um, but why would we want to do that? Eh? I never do that. Yeah. <laughs> never even early morning. <laughs> oh, well, apart from the exhaust, it's got um, a GT350 American OEM spoiler as well. Yeah, it's part of the track pack. See, so, yeah, it makes it look smart as well. That does, like adds a little bit of elegance to the back. Doesn't yeah, it? It makes it look definitely. a little bit def different on that back end. Yeah, again, there's two versions of that: there's a GT350 and an R version, which is more of a standard spoiler system in yeah. carbon. Yeah. I just wanted to go for a bit more sleekness, you know, in the car. Yeah, yeah. I've got some wheels on as well, the Spiri FFR1s. Yeah. Um, square setup, 19 by 10s all around. And some big massive tyres on back. And some tyres, yeah. <laughs> some huge tyres on the back. Um, so obviously, with this car, are you planning on keeping it, changing it? Are you planning on adding anything to it? Are you planning on, you know, well, I will never sell a few bits? Yeah, I will never sell this car, yeah. ever. Um, I might buy newer cars, but this car will always be my baby, I think. Yeah. But in terms of plans, big plan is I want to supercharge it. Yeah. About 800 brake. Yeah. The Stitch 2 kit. But then what are you going to do after you have supercharged it? Because you're not happy when you supercharge it. Yeah, I That's know, just what car guys do though, isn't it? We, yeah. we do something, we're not happy with it, and we're changing it. 
definitely I, I think the supercharger route is the only way you're gonna go in power so if you're not happy with it then I think you're pretty much stuff on yeah yeah um so with the supercharger obviously that takes you about 800 or 800 plus I mean as you can in America there's cars that go 1700 brake yeah. but those cars aren't street legal no 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 they're basically track cars aren't they? yeah I mean I think you could do with a standard supercharger with some pulley upgrades I think it's like over a thousand brake if yeah, you really yeah. want to do it yeah but the thing is as well with it being in the UK there's not really many roads you can put your foot down yeah definitely yeah, there's, there's a traffic light or a pothole around every corner in yeah. there or speed up somewhere so it's not really something that you really need that much high power and you can't use the power no exactly because you've got to stick to speed limits yeah but um well, I've got some parts coming from America. I've got some lights yeah. and um, an aftermarket hood, as they call it yeah, in America. Yeah. It's um, totally bespoke. Is it the roof? Is it the, not the roof, the, the bonnet scoop or the yeah. yeah, so it's yeah. got dual real scoops. So it actually does feed my engine and yeah. the air intakes with cold air. Yeah. But it's a raised profile on the car by about eight inches. Oh, so is it? it sits eight inches above the car. The oh. actual the grill, that's what I mean. <laughs> God. So see the thing is at the minute, you can't obviously see it from this side, but the, the bonnet when you're looking in, in the front of this car, it looks massive, it looks huge. Does it not? Yes. Um, yeah. Obviously with that on the car, do you not think that's gonna block your vision a little bit more? <laughs> it's not gonna block my vision, but it's gonna scare all the children in the local area. <laughs> <laughs> Eat them all up, that's how yeah, we get definitely. horsepower. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> but then with the lights I've got some Tri bar and demon lights yeah, yeah. coming as well, where you can change the colours if you want yeah. blue, red, pink, whatever, you yeah. know. Um, but at the minute, I think that's it. I mean, the other plans are I want to put a, a different front bumper on, so a GT350. I mean, it's a Mustang bumper. The thing is, though, that this front bumper looks mean. Yeah. You know the way you've got it, because obviously it's all clean on the front. Yeah. It, it, as soon as you see it, and I'm assuming as soon as some other people see it, <laughs> for obvious reasons. Yeah. With like you just saw one there. <laughs> no plate. <laughs> the police. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it looks mean with that on the front already as it is. Yeah. Do you not think keeping that or would you want to change that? No, if you see the other Because I've not seen it. On well. a GT350 yeah. it's very similar, but instead of where the lights are, it's, it's all honeycomb. Oh, is it? Oh, right. an open mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, in fact, that would actually look quite, quite nice. That. And some carbon bits on the inside, so I'm, I'm definitely at some point getting the carbon steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. you know. Um, but these are bits for a long time in the future. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, you've got to have plans in the future, though. Yeah, you? definitely. You know, you've got to make sure you know what you're doing and where you're going with it. Yeah. Because if you do something to a car and you don't like it, you'll end up changing it and wasting all that money. Yeah, exactly. So you've got to know where you're going in the future anyway, haven't you? Exactly. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Insane. You know, and you go from your standard, and then that downshift. Jesus Christ! I mean, I'm hoping these guys can hear that because that's insane. That's mad. It sounds a beast. Uh, so, obviously, with your detailing company, uh, what is the things you actually offer? So, with my detailing company, we um, specialise mainly in in high-end paint corrections. So, so basically, just removing the swirls and scratches. You know, yeah, the, the general. The dreaded swirls and scratches that everybody Yeah, that everybody actually incurs, yeah. even if you're a professional detailer. But we also apply, again, high-end ceramic coatings, yeah. which offer up to five years of durability. Which um, are absolutely awesome. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it makes the car cleaner, especially yeah. in the winter with all the salt yeah, and grime. Yeah. so much easier. I mean, we, we offer the basic services, you know, add-ons or, or just standalone products like interior cleans. <laughs> normal washers. You do the engine bays as well, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do no engine bays cleaning. The wheels off coating, what, like the wheels, the arches, they yeah. can either be as part of a main service, it's all included in the price, or yeah. if you just want a wheel clean or yeah. interior clean. Yeah. Um, over time, though, we will introduce um, training classes as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, so from the beginner, so people who just want to clean the cars, Yeah. how to wash it safely, because mm. so, a 
a lot of people think they know what they're doing, but they don't. Yeah, yeah. And it can make a difference. And then our classes will range all the way up to like the pros, where uh, a person like yourself, if, yeah, if you're yeah, yeah. interested, want to try machine Always, polishing, definitely. Always. Or wet sanding, yeah, yeah. Code and application because there's you, a lot of code that you can't apply in a normal yeah. environment. It has to be inside a unit yeah, like does, mine. Yeah, yeah. Like warm and dry, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so the training classes are going to come up. Um, but apart from that, I think that is all we offer at the minute. We're going to be offering like paint protection film, yeah. car wrapping maybe in the future. I mean, who knows? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, all the links to Instagram, website, all that sort of stuff, and address and everything else is in the description. So make sure you go down in the description and check that out. Even if you're dropping him a message through Instagram or anything for a quote for something, or if you've got any questions for him, just make sure you're asking him, obviously. He offers a good service. You've seen how pristine his car is. You've seen how pristine his engine is from obviously them shots, which I'm embarrassed to open my bonnet to him <laughs> after seeing that. But yeah, um, just make sure you're obviously getting in contact because uh, he does do a cracking job. Yeah,